What's up guys? Welcome to Washington, Ronald Reagan International Airport. Uh, we are here for one reason only, and that is for more baseball. We're gonna watch some baseball, more baseball, more baseball. I think we've had this conversation already before. Also for this trip, uh, one of the things that we are going to be discussing is how I ended up actually getting here because with this trip, my total cost for these tickets, 66 bucks. So we're gonna be talking about how that happened and stay tuned because it's gonna be very, very interesting. Not sure what's going on here, but this airport is like very, very dead. This walkway, nothing going on. Alright, so let's backtrack a bit. First off, I'm here in Washington, D.C., home of our current team of interest, the Washington Nationals. So this is Saturday, October 26th. We are here for game four of the World Series between the Nationals and the Houston Astros. Uh, series is currently two to one, uh, two to one for the Nationals. And you are now caught up. Very important side note, um, watch this. All right, so I think you know the, the basics now. You know the who, me, what, baseball, when, tonight, where, Nationals Park, why? Why, why, why? Now that's the question. Why did this happen? How did this happen? When did this happen? How? How did this happen? All right. So what I did is I actually joined this website called Lunatic. So initially it was called Shoein. Now it's called Lunatic. So I'll put a link below. Basically what they do is, well, they have two parts of their business. One is, you know, regular ticket reseller website like StubHub and everybody else. Um, but then their other side of the business, which is a bit unique, uh, is actually they sell what they call postseason reservations. So reservations are basically, um, not a ticket per se, but it converts into a ticket should the team qualify for that postseason game. So when you want to buy a reservation, you can buy it anytime, basically once the market the market opens up, uh, and then from then until the game is actually you know guaranteed to happen. But if they're more likely to uh, make that game, then obviously the price will be more expensive. Uh, they're less likely, it'll be less expensive. With all that being said, you can buy reservations for basically any of the major sports, so NFL, NHL, um, NBA and then MLB and then they also do it for some college sports so they do it for college football and college basketball so kind of like last bit of logistics with them they don't sell you a specific seat they actually just sell you a location so sometimes it'll just be upper bowl or lower bowl or they'll have specific you know ranges or areas of where they'll have seating like like lower sideline or lower end zone uh, so it really all depends on each of the different leagues and teams and how they kind of lay out their map uh, so just make sure you take a look at that before you make a purchase. Obviously, if you want to buy a reservation in a lower bowl versus an upper bowl, it'll be more expensive for the lower bowl. Um, the more prime the ticket, the more expensive it's going to be regardless. If the team does qualify for that postseason game, then obviously you win and you're going to get a ticket um, guaranteed in that section. Um, if they lose, unfortunately, you lose out all your money. So there is definitely some risk to take into account there. So far, I've had a really good, really good experience. I've actually used them also for um, Toronto Maple Leafs reservations uh, last year. Uh, so I was able to kind of get, you know, tickets for the um, first round. And I've also used them for the Toronto Raptors for the NBA Finals that just finished. Uh, so that all of these, you know, I've always had the tickets about in a couple days before the event actually happens. Uh, they just kind of send them off to you, however the delivery method is, it depends. So sometimes it'll be mobile tickets or hard tickets or whatever the case may be. There's tons of options there. There's definitely uh, an, an opportunity for you to kind of get some discounted seats. Uh, but at the same time, you do need to remember that anything you buy, there is obviously a risk involved um, that the team may not qualify. And if they don't, unfortunately, you will lose out on all your money. All right, with that being said, uh, I think it's time to get some food and then go and enjoy these wonderful, wonderful seats that I am going to be sitting in. And we are now dressed for success. As you can see, I am bringing it home. Let's go to the game. Some of my favorite things. People who try and take those pictures of those things where they like are holding buildings or touching buildings or eating buildings. 
That's what they were doing. So many cool things in Washington. I must come back because I only have been here for like 20 somebody years and even from back then I don't remember any of that. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk with the wonderful Washington Monument in the background. All right, so like I was saying, $66 ticket to go to the World Series. How did it happen? In this case, I paid 66 bucks on October 1st for the right to have a ticket, uh, and I was lucky enough to have them qualify, and that let me go into the game for free, basically. Uh, well, $66 price to get the ticket, and yeah. Using the service doesn't mean that you'll always get a ticket in the sense that if the team does not qualify and you paid your money, say in this case I paid $66 and the Washington Nationals ended up losing in one of the first two rounds, then that would have meant I got nothing. I paid 66 bucks for the opportunity to do absolutely nothing. Thanks for playing, please try again. Uh, basically that's kind of how their business model works. They expect to be able to sell more reservations to different games and events. Uh, than the teams that will actually qualify, right? So there's 30 teams, only two of them are in the World Series, so if they sell reservations for 28 other teams that don't make it, that's how they're gonna make all their money. Uh, one other thing about these guys, with their regular seats, they also give you 20% back to buy postseason reservations. So if you spend 100 bucks on a pair of tickets, uh, you get another 20 bucks in the back that you can now use towards any other postseason reservations. Uh, so all these things, they're all um, just incentives or ways to kind of keep you coming back to their website. Uh, it's definitely useful, but again, have to remember, reservations, definitely not guaranteed. So don't be expecting to be able to uh, get the same deal every single time. The last thing with this is that prices will always be changing for reservations. So when I bought my reservation, it was right after game five of the NLDS. Uh, so at that point, the Washington Nationals had literally just clinched. I ended up buying my reservation then. Uh, within like two or three minutes later, the price had already kind of jumped up to like 125 bucks. And then after that, they were like over 500. Uh, and even then, actually, when you look at it, it would have been a great deal. But still, uh, that's kind of how it worked out for me. Uh, so obviously, your mileage may vary. Let's finish this talk up at the stadium because that's where all the fun is actually going to happen. Isn't this Japanese? And now the moment of truth to see if these tickets actually did work. Obstructed views, feel pretty close. No complaints. Thumbs up. Well, that was lame. It came with so much excitement and so much hope. And then they gave up two runs, and then they gave up two runs, and then they didn't score, and then they gave up a grand slam, and next thing you know, everyone is all depressed, and then it started raining, and then they lost, and now it's 2 2. But, 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 definitely highly recommend. Only downside is you don't really get to pick where your seats are, so zone map of where your seats are, so like upper bowl, lower bowl, and they can decide. So generally speaking, in a situation like this where tickets are super... So I'm not sure, some of it got cut off there, but basically I was saying uh, one of the downsides is that it's zone-based, so obviously if tickets are very expensive you're very unlikely to get a good spot in the zone so it's like the whole lower bowl was like my option but lower bowl was like 100 levels 200 levels and even some like 300 levels kind of thing so it's like very rare that you'll get like amazing seats but you will get seats just not the closest to the home plate because i was kind of hoping to be a bit closer but I mean, it was fine anyway i think that kind of covers it 
this was a really fun trip. I now need to wake up for, I now need to be at the airport for 5 a.m. because my flight is at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Well, today, so I'm like four hours, five hours. Not a lot of time to sleep, so. I'm gonna sleep. You guys should be sleeping. If you're not sleeping already, definitely go to bed. <laughs>